What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I'm here for you guys on the Rolex Submariner Hulk. This is going to be reference number 116610LV and I'll be breaking down all the details of this watch, unboxing it, trying it on and whatnot. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like subscribe button as it really really does help my channel get by additional more people. And also if you guys are looking to buy anything, sell anything, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at Connor Langley and I'll be happy to help you guys there. But with that said, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so just before I begin unboxing and whatnot, there's just a few details I want to go over. First off being the retail cost of this watch. This watch retailed at $9,050 USD and is not currently being released anymore. The first green bezel um, Submariner that released was considered the Kermit. And then came this one which is going to be the Hulk. And now the newest one, the 126610, is going to be considered the Starbucks. This watch currently is going for about $25,000 USD. But with that said, I'll show you guys the Rolex box right here. It's just gonna be the nice creamish color. I show you guys it in pretty much every single video, so I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. I'm just taking off this top part right here, we will have the inner oyster box. It's going to be green, obviously, with the crown in the front right there. And then taking it out, you guys will see that on the inside, we will have the beautiful Rolex Hulk. Again, this is Submariner reference number 116610LV. And I honestly like this model a lot more than the classic black 116610 because it seems like everyone has this one. And a lot of the times when you go into the Rolex dealership, if they do have this watch there or wherever you're deciding to buy your Rolex from, a lot of people tend to stay away from this watch as it's green so it's a little bit more exotic it's not going to go with every single outfit but i personally like that because i kind of look at it as money green and i also really like the fact that not a lot of people are going to have this watch while a lot of people are going to have that black submariner but taking a closer look this watch is going to have a 40 millimeter case which is honestly one of my favorite sizes i don't really wear anything under really a 39. 39 is really the smallest case size that i really wear in watches 39, 40, 41 are usually my favorites. And obviously we're gonna have the green bezel as well as the green face right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then on the bezel, you guys will have the ability to turn it. It's um, unidirectional, meaning that you can only turn it in one direction. And it has the 60 minutes um, and it's for divers to track how much oxygen is left in their tank. The last Submariner that I reviewed for you guys, the new um, No Date Submariner, I went over that as well. As these are divers watches, so a lot of the functionality, including how deep you can go into the water, um, you can see on this watch it's a thousand feet or 300 meters. The trip lock waterproof system right here, which you guys will be able to see kind of by the crown area. And then also obviously the rotatable basil for 60 minutes so that you know when your tank is running out of oxygen. And then taking a closer look at the case right there, we will have the very, very scratch resistant sapphire crystal. So you guys will have no issues keeping that one clean unless you guys are dropping it on concrete or just really purposely damaging this watch. As I wear these watches heavily day in and day out, and yes, yeah, sometimes I might be setting my hand on a table and my, the face might hit it somehow, and I really don't get any scratches on it. I really do try to take the best care of these watches, but they are very, very strong as long as you aren't stupid with them. And then the bracelet right here is gonna be the 904L stainless steel oyster bracelet. And then taking it off of this thing right here, I'll show you guys the glide lock system that we have on this watch which is one of my favorite functions that they added in um, to the six different to the six digit references. Um, so obviously right here we have the ability to pull down and then we can move it side to side so that if you take off two links and it's still a little bit loose, but you don't want to take off that third link or else it's too tight, then obviously you have this glide lock system to adjust perfectly to your wrist. And a lot of the times if it's getting hotter or colder or whatever weather you're in, your wrist might slightly expand or slightly um, become smaller. So it always is good to know that this watch is gonna fit you perfectly, no matter what the climate or situation is. But trying it on for you guys, this is kind of how it's gonna look. Obviously you guys can see the beautiful green face and the beautiful green bezel. You guys can see the 10 minute increments for a total of 60 minutes on the bezel. And obviously it's gonna be rotatable one direction. And then showing it to you guys from the side, you guys can kind of see that crown right there. We're gonna have the trip lock waterproof system right there. So you're just gonna pull it out once and that's where you're gonna wind it. You pull it out again, and that's gonna change the time and you pull it again. And that is where you will be able to adjust the date. And I hadn't mentioned to you guys, but obviously we have the Cyclops 
lens right there to show the date. Right now it's currently the 25th, yesterday was my birthday. And then turning my wrist, you guys will be able to see the Oyster Steel bracelet right here. Obviously we got some scratches, this watch isn't being released anymore, so it's definitely got in its wares. And I am actually not the first owner of this watch. You guys can see the crown right here, and obviously under it we're gonna have that glide lock system. And I currently have about a seven inch wrist, and I took two links off this watch and have the glide lock system tightened almost all the way. So I would be safe taking off three links, honestly, loosened on the way, but if my wrist was to expand at all, then it would not be the most comfortable. So I like to take advantage of that glide lock system. You guys can kind of see the width of the case right here. It's pretty thin, very, very comfortable. I have absolutely no issues wearing this watch. It's somewhat light and I do get a lot of compliments for this watch. Like I mentioned, a lot of people do have that black Submariner, but the green Submariner, the Hulk is not seen as much and neither is the Kermit or the Starbucks. So if you guys are considering buying a Submariner, but you don't want to go for the classic black, do consider going for the Hulk as when I first saw it, I was like, damn, what am I going to wear that with? But I really have not had any issues wearing this. Maybe it's because I usually wear black, but yeah, I'm sure you guys can definitely pull it off. And people that are really into watches will definitely notice the rareness of the watch and how you were willing to stand out from the crowd of people that just have the black Submariners. But let me know what you guys think of this watch. Would you guys wear this watch? Would you guys choose it over the black Submariner? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see on my channel. If you guys are at this point in the video, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button. It really, really does help on my channel. Give my video to more people. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.